hello all today we are going to discuss about the blue score so blue score is used to automatically calculate the machine translated task so for example let's say we want to translate from german to english and in german this is the sentence and the corresponding reference english sentence is i am currently out of the office but we have a machine translated mod machine translation model where the machine translated english language that is produced is i am currently not in the office now let's say we have a methodology like we will say if both the sentences means reference sentence and the machine translated english are same then we are going to say yes it is correct otherwise it is false so in this case we can see both is actually not matching so we'll say okay so this doesn't have the same meaning but if we see these two sentences we can see yes both actually represent almost or equal meaning right so how we can solve this problem the first thing that we can do we can use the precision so what is the problem what is the thing let's say in german we have the sentence and the reference sentence is i am currently out of the office but the machine translated english is m m m m m m so there are six m that machine translated now what will be the precision here so how many words are there there are six words so here we have six now how many so m is present in this reference yes one plus this m is present in this in this reference english yes one this m is present in this reference english yes one to do every up to here so this m is represented in the reference english yes so in this case we can see the precision became one which says that it is very it is exactly equal but as we can see this is actually not equal right so this is the problem with the precision so we modify the precision thing so here the let's say what we did we used we, we called it as a modified precision here in german we have this sentence and in reference english the sentence is i am currently out of the office and let's say the machine translated english is same thing m m m m m m now the modified in the modified precision what we are going to do in below this this will be six right because there are six words but here there is a modification m is present here yes this is where the m is present so one m is present here but when we are will search we are not going to use this m we will accept this m we will search here no this is not present so zero m is present here no except this there is no m zero and so on so here we can see the precision became 0.16 which <coughs> so which says that the machine translated english language is not similar with the reference english now here we are referring it as a p1 where one refers to the unigram as we all know that unigram means we are taking each word at a time to calculate something so here we can see we took m and we are doing then we are taking m then we are doing right so this is why this is called the unigram as we know if we have bigram we will use cup two words right m m the m m like this way right so in the next year i will use i will uh, describe what does it unigram and bigram means so let's say i will use the same example here the reference english is this and the machine translated english is i am currently not in the office now the modified precision the, for the unigram what will happen so here we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 7 here we will have now i is present yes here 1 m is present yes here 1 currently is present yes here 1 not is present no 0 in is present no 0 1 is present mm, eh, sorry uh, d is present yes 1 office is present yes 1 so the p1 precision 1 or the pre will be 5 by 7 which is 0.7 now which what will be the bigram right so in bigram the reference english language will be like this i am am currently currently out out of of the the office and the machine translated english will be 
I am, I am currently, currently not, not in, in the, the office. So in P2, in the matter of what we'll have, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, six tuples are there. So there'll be six. So I am present. Yes, one. I am currently present. Yes, one. Currently not present. Yes, one. Not in present. No, zero. In the present, no, zero. The office present, yes, one. So, it will be 4 by 6, it will be 0 0.66. So, the, in the modified precision for bigram, the precision will be 0 0.66. Same way, we can have trigram where I will use the three thing, three words, I am currently, am currently not, currently not in, like this way, right? So, we will have up to n gram, okay? So, now, I I have described what is modified precision that we are going to use. So, can we just uh, think of what is the problem of the modified precision? Please pause the video here and try to understand it. Try to get the answer. I will go to the next the, uh, on the problem side of the modified precision. As we can see here, I will describe this using a example. So, the problem with modified precision is it tends to favor short translation. For example, here in Germany, this is the sentence and in different sentences, this I am currently out of the office. But the machine translated English is I am. The machine translated English, there is no, rela no relationship between the machine translated English and the reference English. But in this case, in modified precision, we are going to say precision is 1. That means that it is exactly matching, which is not. So, that's why we should have a penalty. So, here we are using a BP for this. So, what it suggests? First of all, what C means, what R means? Here, R is the length of the reference sentence. Right? So, this one. This one. C is the length of the machine translated sentence. So, this one. So, in this and if C is greater than R, that means that machine the number of um, words in the machine translated English is greater than the reference English, then BP will be what? Otherwise, BP will be e to the power 1 minus R by C. Here we will calculate the what will be the BP for this case, right? So here you can see here the C is equal to 2 because there are two words. But R is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7. So, 2 is less than or equal to 7. So, we will follow this rule. Right? So, here E to the power 1 minus 7 by 2. So, it will be 0 0.082. Now, the final blue score will be BP, the penalty that we have, into E to the power 1. 1 by capital N, summation of small n, 1 to capital N, PN. Where capital N denotes how many grams that we want, right? So, it's just a mean of all n gram precision. So, let's say if we say capital N equal to 3, then we will do unigram, bigram and trigram and then we'll average, then we'll do to the power that and we'll multiply with BP. So, this is how we blue score is calculated. Please let me know if you have any problem. Thank you.